Welcome to Quiz Quest Trivia Test. Today's challenge is, guess who? With just three clues music edition. You will be given three clues about each person followed by a six second timer to make your guess before the answer is displayed. Give yourself 10 points for each person that you guess correct, there is also a bonus question at the end to give you a chance to snag 20 points. I wear a bandana as a headband when performing. I'm the lead singer from an iconic rock band from the late 80s and the 90s. My band became famous for the album Appetite for Destruction. I'm known for my flamboyant stage presence and iconic glasses. Two of my hits are Rocket Man and Your Song. I performed a memorable tribute of Candle in the Wind at Princess Diana's funeral. I've been a pop icon since the 80s. My music video for, Like a Prayer, sparked global debate. I told the world to Vogue. I changed my name to an unpronounceable symbol. I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. I wrote and produced the hits Nothing Compares to You for Sinead O'Connor and Manic Monday for the Bengals. I covered Bob Dylan's original song All Along the Watchtower. I'm widely regarded as one of the greatest electric guitarists in rock history. I headlined the legendary Woodstock Music Festival in 1969 with a memorable rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. My home is Graceland. I made my big screen debut in the movie Love Me Tender. I am often referred to as the king of rock and roll. I wrote the hit song Somebody to Love. I performed one of the most iconic live shows in history at Live Aid in 1985. I am known for my powerful voice and theatrical performances. I sang about how to disappear completely. I am known for my distinctive falsetto voice and experimental music style. For a minute there I lost myself. This is what you get. I went from Ziggy Stardust to the Thin White Duke. I collaborated with Queen on Under Pressure. 
My final album Blackstar was released just two days before my death. I'm a multi-instrumentalist and songwriter who became a child prodigy with Motown Records. I just called to say I love you. I have 25 Grammy Awards. It ain't me babe. My profound and poetic lyrics became anthems for the 1960s counterculture. I won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2016 for my contributions to music and songwriting. I'm often referred to as the Queen of Soul. My song Respect became an anthem for civil rights and feminist movements. I was the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I am known for my haunting vocals and intense lyrics as a front member of a Seattle-based band. My voice became a defining sound of the grunge movement of the 1990s. I'm the man in the box. I am known for my distinctive guitar sound and solos. I contributed to the creation of concept albums like Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall. My solos on tracks like Comfortably Numb and Shine on You Crazy Diamond are considered some of the best in rock history. My music drew from blues, soul, gospel, country, and rock. I am known for my powerful mezzo-soprano vocals and electric stage presence. After my death my album Pearl had a hit song called, Me and Bobby McGee. I struggled with depression until my death at the age of 23. I was known for my distinct on-stage behavior and unique dancing style. After my death the band I was in reformed under the name New Order. My powerful drumming style can be heard on tracks like When the Levy Breaks and Kashmir. My famous drum solo on Moby Dick became a showcase of my speed and technique. I was the powerhouse drummer for the legendary rock band Led Zeppelin. I have one of the best-selling singles by a female artist in music history. I was the first artist to have seven consecutive number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100. I want to dance with somebody.
I've left my band several times once in 1992 and again in 2009 due to personal struggles and issues with fame. I'm known for my melodic and emotive guitar playing. Rolling Stone named me among the greatest guitarist of all time. I directed the documentary Sound City about the famous recording studio. I broke my leg on stage during a concert in 2015. I was the drummer for the legendary grunge band Nirvana. Bonus question. Crossroad Blues and Sweet Home Chicago are two of my most famous pieces of work. According to folklore I supposedly sold my soul to the devil at a crossroads to gain my extraordinary guitar skills. I'm a legendary blues guitarist and singer whose recordings influence people such as Eric Clapton and Keith Richards. To my sweet home, Chicago. Thanks for playing, who is your favorite artist from the quiz? Drop your score and tell us in the comments. Be sure to go check out Quiz Quest Trivia Tests page and try all of the other fun quiz and trivia challenges like name the song, songs with colors in the title, guess the song fill in the missing digits, funny misheard lyrics quiz, name the whistling song, rock music trivia and name the Nirvana song. I also have guessed the song challenges for every decade. If you like music challenges there is a music playlist with lots of quizzes to choose from, while you're there be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our regularly uploaded new challenges, hope to see everyone on the next one.